välkomna till Stockholm, Sverige. Hoppas ni har det helt underbart. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's great to see all our fans in Japan. Konnichiwa. Welcome to Dice in Stockholm, Sweden. I'll give you a bit of a tour of our office here. Come with me and I'll show you more of the actual office. In here, we actually have the Leeds team, the team that are responsible for building Battlefield 4. Uh, let's go in and say hi. Somebody might recognize Lars Gustafsson over there. The grandfather of Battlefield. My role as creative director on Battlefield 4 basically means that I'm the, the guardian for the game. Where the senior producer is the guardian of the product, I'm the one who's responsible for ensuring that we make and build a fun game. And here's Patrick Bach, the executive producer of the team. So an executive producer at DICE is responsible for a game project. Uh, so my job is more or less to make sure that we have all the people that we need for the game. We are building the right game to the right quality. And then of course, making sure that everyone has what they need, like tools, computers, everything. We're trying to build the best game that we can build because we want to play this game ourselves. I've always been a gamer ever since I was small, playing on the Game Boy or Nintendo. Oh yeah, I love playing games. Love playing games. So uh, yeah, I played. I think I have. I have a lot of hours in Battlefield Three. A lot of hours. My favorite class in Battlefield Three is definitely Assault. So I actually started playing games when I was very little. Even you know in the late seventies when I had my first uh, you know, Atari. I got uh, into PlayStation and also uh, a bit of PC, like StarCraft type of games. Uh, I'm one of those people that just, you know, I can't, I can't sit around. I need to do something. But then, then I just charge, all on assault. So in this area, uh, the teams, usually now, especially towards the end of the project, where we are working really, really hard, uh, this is where we serve the breakfasts, the lunches, as well as the dinners in the evening before we go home and, and call it a night. Well, the Paradise project that we have here at DICE is something that we're using when we're working you know, really hard to finish the game. Uh, we try to keep everyone healthy, we try to feed everyone, we try to make sure that you have everything you need. Everything from, from uh, exercise, we have CrossFit training, we have yoga, there's Fight Club, uh, we have the gym breakfasts, we have uh, barbecue lunches, uh, smoothies, you know, all of these things to, to hopefully uh, motivate people to, to try a little more and also to make people take a break. I've been to yoga classes um, and uh, I've also, it's really nice having smoothies. Yeah, I have to admit that it's the breakfast that uh, have <laughs> me totally sold. This is a compliment to people's you know, everyday life, so we try to you know, help as much as we can. For me, it's very important that it's fun to work here, of course. We have our game room in here. So we got some pinball games, a pool table, a football table, and of course a ping pong table. And it's important to keep healthy as well. So we actually have a gym here as well where people can go and work out. Let's see if anyone is in here right now. Shana, hope it's okay if the Japanese fans see you guys working out. <laughs> So this is floor 9, as I mentioned. Uh, we don't have a, that many people working here that actually work with development, but there's one team that sits here that is really important. That is the Frostbite team, of course. Frostbite is a what we call a game engine. It's the software, it's essentially the operating system with which you can build a game. Let's check it out. So the uh, Frostbite game engine we've been using for quite some time now. Uh, it was an, uh, an engine that was developed here at DICE from the beginning, but is now being used by several teams inside of EA as well. So it's not just us that are using it. Uh, and uh, as you can see, there are quite a lot of people working on just the actual engine in itself. Hey guys, want to say hi to our Japanese fans? <laughs> They're a bit shy. The Frostbite team now, it's growing all the time. I think we're at about 45 or 50 people. That's the Frostbite development team. And it's now possible to create games using Frostbite that are almost on a par with what you can see in a movie. 
So this is where most of our game teams actually sit. This is about two and a half thousand square meters, which we have where all the game teams are situated. We have a couple of dev teams upstairs as well, but uh, this is where most of, of the, the battlefield team sits actually. こんにちは、ダイスでシニアキャラクターアーティストとして働いている谷田理沙子と申しますデザインすることもありますしあとはデザインをコンセプトアーティストが作ってそれを見ながらそれをもとに 3D のキャラクターを作ったりしますえっ、ー、といつも割最近割と立ってるんですけどでも座ったりもしますでデスク上げ下げできるんで下げて座ることもありますみんななんかすごい自由な雰囲気でいろいろ歩き回っていろんな人に質問したりとか誰でも簡単にできるんでそれがいいなと思いましたよりリアルにキャラクターを作るためにいろいろとプロセスをやりか作り方を結構変えたんで随分違いますねはい。Uh, my name is、uh, Thomas Rambe, I'm the localization manager at ICE.、Mm. Today I'd like to show you something we've been working on. For Battlefield 4, we've done a couple of different recordings, a lot in the basement here with ourselves. Everything from being pulled on the ground or crawling in the dirt. We create quad ambiences, quad sound files, which we then can place on the map. By, here it's represented by the pink boxes. I、uh, studied sound engineering at university, and in the end of that, I wanted to.、Um, Do an internship somewhere, and I heard about DICE. I started many years ago in the visual effects industry using Maya and tools like that on movies such as、uh, X Men 1, X Men 2, Stargate. It's been、uh, the, hard, the hard school of game making, but I studied a year of computer graphics to come in as an artist. I started in LA, but at the same time, I was in the same place, and I knew there was an office in the same place. いいなと思ってその経歴で来ました。自由度が高いんでやり方とかも自分がこう意見を言えば書いて聞いてもらえる